Good evening and welcome to Lima Senior High School. Tonight's pregame is brought to you by Laos Chiropractic and Weight Loss. Laos Chiropractic and Weight Loss offers area residents good health through chiropractic care. I'm Nate Garlock alongside Mark Stein. And Mark, the Indians take a short trip over to Lima Senior in what has been one of the better rivalry games in the area. Yeah, and I think a rivalry game tonight is important for both teams. Shawnee has been trending downward lately. They've had some struggles on the court. I think a game like this jacks them up, gets them playing again, and maybe has some, some success on the floor to really help them this evening. Whereas Lima Senior, they've won their last four basketball games. They're on a roll. They did a non-conference game and get them fired up against this evening too. So I think it's a really good rivalry game for both teams tonight. Let's take a look at tonight's keys of the game, starting first for the Shawnee Indians. Well, for Shawnee, they all start with take. First of all, they got to take care of the basketball. They have less than 12 turnovers per game on the season. Take care of the ball, don't turn it over, don't let Lyman Senior get out and run in transition. Then take good shots, good shot selection, shoot a high percentage, again, control the basketball and score with good high percentage shots, and then take away straight line dribbles. Lyman Senior loves to take the ball in the basket. When they do so, they either score off the dribble or they kick out to three-point shooters. Got to control those people going to the glass. And what do the Spartans need to do to come away with a victory? Well, they're all starting with D this season. The first thing is defend. Coach Simpson made a change about four games ago to, to concentrate on playing half-court man-to-man defense, and they're giving up just 42 points a game in that spell. So each guy goes out and defends his guy hard. It makes it difficult for him to do anything with the basketball. And then disrupt it. Disrupt Shawnee. Take them out of their pattern. Get all five guys out in defensive position so that Shawnee can't run their sets and can't feel comfortable. And then finally deploy. Get down the floor in a hurry. Look for that shot opportunity. If it's not there, bring it back up. Get everybody set offensively and then run through their offensive set patterns. The Lima area has turned out for this one. Don't go anywhere. When we return, we'll have the starters and opening tip. You're watching Boys High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Layfield Industrial Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. Starting lineups are being announced. Starting first with the Shawnee Indians. We will take a look at those starting lineups as well. Shawnee tonight was going to start number 12, Austin Miller. Number five, Tony Freiberger. Toby Freiberger, excuse me. Number 23, Beckett Berkey. Number four, Dominic Lynch. And number zero, Will McBride. Taking a look at Lima Senior starters, they are going to start number zero, Anthony Mosley. Number one, Brandon Moore. Number two, Jaquel Cotton. Number 11, Amari Addy. And number 23, Jagger Hutchins. We mentioned in our pregame, this is one of the better rivalries in the area as we take a look at tonight's officials. Ben Kramer, Stephen McCray, and Steve DeRhodes. These teams are very familiar with one another. A lot of success out of both programs, especially over the last five to five, six years, as we've seen both teams make good tournament runs, a lot of conference championships, just dominant teams has really added to this rivalry and just given it a bigger game feel. And I think you can see that when you look around the gym tonight. Yeah, we've got a, a packed house pretty much on the, the opposite side from where our cameras are. And this side is probably two thirds to three quarters full. Lima people have turned out, Shawnee people have turned out. It should be a good crowd, good environment this evening. You know, Mark, you mentioned how, you know, these two teams right now kind of go in opposite directions. Yep. Lima Senior, four straight wins, really starting with that huge Ottawa Glandor victory last Saturday night here at Lima Senior. And then on the other side, Shawnee, they've lost four of their last six, kind of trying to find their way right now. But it seems like Lima Senior's gotten that consistency that they were lacking early on. I think what happens, obviously some young players who did not have a lot of game time experience have really come around for them. But I think the real change that we talked about in pregame is how they have committed themselves to being a solid and dominating half-court defensive team. And let's see if they can do that again against Shawnee this evening and continue that defensive prowess. So we are just about underway as we get the opening tip ready here. Each team matching up. Officials waiting for everybody to be set. And we are underway. That opening tip will be controlled by the Lima Senior Spartans. As you see, the freshman Amari Addy bring it up for Lima Senior. He's going to be guarded by Will McBride. We know what we're going to see out of Lima Senior, the staple of a Quincy Simpson team. Fast-paced offense, pressure defense. They want to turn defense into offense. Sometimes these half-court offensive sets can be where they struggle a little bit because they're not used to having to play so slowed down. Well, Shawnee has started man-to-man. -man. That's a trademark, I think, for this particular team. 
as offensive rebound and basket. Jagger Hutchins comes up with a three-point play, and I think that's going to be huge. Jagger has struggled a little bit, even as Lima Sr. has had some success over the last week, week and a half. His shot was struggling a little bit, kind of came out of that last night with 12 points and gets off to a good start here tonight. He's a flat-out sniper, and when he gets going, he can really uh, hurt you defensively by how well he shoots the basketball, and there's pressure and everything, their first foul. See who they call that one on. Looks like it's going to go on Addy. That'll be his first, the team's first. And that's what Shawnee is going to see all night long. And, you know, one of, one, one of the things that they've tried to work on all year long is ball handling and, and getting that real true ball handler for Shawnee is Toby Freiberger is going to handle it for most of the night for Shawnee. But, you know, when you face this Lima senior team, you need multiple guys who have that ability because they're going to throw that trap. They're going to come at you with two or three guys. And if you panic, there's going to be a lot of turnovers tonight for Shawnee. And here's a really good move for the freshman. Beckett Berkey, you know, you get pressured, you take the ball to the glass, you don't back up, and instead he challenged it, he's going to get a couple free throws to reward himself. So Jagger Hutchins gets that foul, that is his first, team second, as you see Berkey knock down the first free throw of the night. Each team has a freshman with a huge future in front of him. Berkey, that is a rebound, Miller. As you see Austin Miller on the putback, and I think that's going to be a big part of uh, Shawnee, what Shawnee needs to do tonight is they have got to get after it on the offensive board side, but we're going to have a timeout quickly from Quincy Simpson's. Lima Senior made no or had no hesitation getting back scoring as they are on top 5-3. to three. Quincy Simpson takes a quick 30-second timeout. Obviously not happy about something that he saw on the floor. As, you know, when, I think that's one of the things that makes uh, Coach Q such a good coach, so well respected. It doesn't matter that we've only, you know, less than a minute into this game. Something out the bat he didn't like, even with his team up, and he wanted to talk about it before it became a habit. Yeah, I would agree with that, and Nate. I think that's one of the things I really appreciate about Coach. He's not going to wait till we get a, a quarter break or something like that to talk about something he feels needs addressed right now. And you say, well, what happens if you get late in the game, you don't have enough timeouts? Well, maybe you don't have the situation late in the game if you don't make that correction right now. And again, one of the things I appreciate about Coach. So Freiberger brings the ball up for Shawnee. They're down here early, 5-3. to three. Freiberger gets it off to Dominic Lynch. So he was a late addition to the starting five. That one is taken away. Anthony Mosley pulls it back out. Cotton swings it over to Moore. Moore's going to let the offense get set. That was a good job for the Shawnee Indians to get back and not give up a layup in transition. The scoreboard just kicked out. So here's Moore up along the wing, kicks it back up to Amari Addy. The Spartans showing a lot of patience here in this, this possession. As Hutchins gets it down low to Mosley, Mosley spins towards the basket, up and in, and he'll take a trip to the free throw line for the and one opportunity. Yeah, they've got him posted up down inside. He made the nice spin move to the baseline side and went through contact and scored, has a chance for the and one. Beckett Berkey will be called on that foul. His first, team's first. As Mosley lets the first free throw go, that one is no good. Rebound's going to go out of bounds. Going to say last touched by the Indians. It looked like Austin Miller got his hand on that one. Couldn't gather it in. And he thought it was going to go the other way and didn't make an effort to get the basketball. Mosley takes the inbounds, hands it right back to Moore. Moore over to Hutchins. Hutchins lets another three-pointer go. This one's no good. Rebound comes down to McBride. Lima Sr. on top, 7-3, to three, almost comes up with another turnover as Mosley did a nice job anticipating that pass and jumping the passing lane. Couldn't control it, though, before it went out of bounds. Yeah, that was our second uh, point we talked about defensively in the pregame. Obviously, everybody goes out and guards their man in a very uh, aggressive manner, and then you try to disrupt offensively with plays like that one. So Shawnee with another opportunity here. Austin Miller has this one taken away, and he's going to get called for the foul. As I think you're seeing a little bit of frustration out of Austin Miller here in the early going as he went up high to keep Moore from having to run out. Well, you absolutely need to come and meet the pass, and he was a little bit tardy in doing that, hence the steal that took place. So Austin Miller picks up his first foul of the night. As Addy now brings it up for the Spartans. And that's the other really good freshman on the floor tonight in Addy. 
I'm a senior, turns it over as Dominic Lynch comes up with the turnover, gets it ahead to McBride. He's going to drive right hand underneath the boot, underneath the basket, excuse me. And that one is no good. Here's Moore. Moore can carry the offensive load if given the opportunity. A little bit of the hesitation. Drop down low to Mosley, and Mosley finishes for two more. That was a really nice assist pass that time. I think everybody expected the shot to go up, and instead he found his teammate on the box. And I think over the last week, that's one of the things that you're seeing out of Lima Senior is the, a lot more of that unselfish type of play where it's okay with the head fake. They don't have to finish. Look for the extra pass. And when you get that extra pass, they're getting better looks. And that's really helped the offense as at times we saw it go stagnant. Berkey with the floater in the lane. And Shawnee pulls back within four at nine to five. Almost turned over, but Mosley tracks it down. Gets it into the hands of Chel Jaquel Cotton. He can't get it to go down. It ends up out of bounds as Jagger Hutchins and Will McBride were fighting for the loose ball underneath the basket. That was a really good look for Cotton. He's made a lot of those this year. That one, he just rattled out. Big fight for the offensive rebound goes to Shawnee. You know, both these teams have youth on their team. Lima Senior a little bit younger. Lima Senior also has uh, a few players down in the eighth grade level who they think are going to contribute to this varsity team starting next year. Shawnee likewise trying to get some more experience as the turnaround jumper is good. Two more points for Shawnee as they are now back within two, and Berkey has five on the night. Good poise for the young man. Does not play like a freshman. Mosley, turn around, off the glass, no good, but Cotton there for the rebound. He gets the put back up, and that is good for two. Already, Lima Senior has three offensive rebounds, part of their four-point lead. Ryberger gets it to Berkey in the corner, and Beckett Berkey with the big three-pointer as Shawnee now back within one at 11 to 10, and we're going to have another timeout on the floor. We will step aside, and we'll be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. We talked about Quincy Simpson quick with a timeout. This timeout is by Coach Berkey, by uh, Coach Shipley saying, we're not giving up any more offensive rebounds. You guys got to get bodies on people. Thanks to Beckett Berkey, Sean, he's been able to stay in this game here in this first half, or this first quarter, excuse me. He already has eight on the night, eight of the ten Shawnee points. Mosley going to drop it down to Moore. Moore gets the layup up. Really good backdoor cut. Time play coming out of the timeout. Keegan Wilson has checked into the game for Shawnee. Brought the basketball up that last time. Here's Austin Miller down low. Working against three different Spartans, has it taken away. Mosley pushes it up ahead. This one is good as Amarion Glenn had checked in during the timeout, and he is quick to get in the scorebook. The block shot set that up. Glenn got his hand on that one, but they're going to say he got into the back of Beckett Berkey, so he's going to pick up his first foul of the night. I think Coach Simpson put Amarion Glenn in to take over on the hot Berkey scoring and is a zealousness to try to do so and prevent him from getting the basketball he fouled. Tough place to inbound the ball right there. Bright able to get it into Wilson. Keegan Wilson working against Isaiah Wilson. Hesitation is able to get Wilson off his feet and Keegan gets fouled. He'll take a trip to the free throw line to shoot two. Senior made a good ball fake, got his defender up in the air, leaned in a little bit, got contact, and sold it really well. Watch this. Watch how he sells this. Oh, I got fouled pretty hard. Keegan Wilson's first free throw is on its way. This one is good. 2.38 left to go here in the opening quarter. Lima Senior already with 14 fouls as Keegan Wilson lines up his second free throw. Shot is up, and it is good. Did not shoot those like a 50% free throw shooter. Back to a one possession game, 15 to 12. Lima Senior on top. Marion Glenn is going to quickly hand it off to Wilson. So they're playing Wilson. a two man, man, man to man, and a three man zone right now. Here's the freshman. He's going to drive, kicks it back out. 
Glenn thought about the three-pointer, but decides to kick it out to Addy. Addy, he drives baseline and gets the floater to go. Just exactly what we talked about in the pregame. You cannot give up straight line drives to Lima Senior. Of course, stopping Addy, that's something you could talk about, but it's more difficult to do. Saw McBride trying to find a cutting. Austin Miller ends up out of bounds off of a Lima Senior player. As the officials have a word with a couple of players. Wilson going to try to inbound. Nice find underneath as Berkey got lost, shook himself free, and ended up with an easy layup. 6'3", freshman. I'm going to bet he comes back next year as a 6'5", sophomore with about 10 more pounds of body muscle on him. Nice play by the freshman Amari Addy. As it looked like Lima Senior was going to run the handoff. Addy just split the defenders and had a good look at it. Miller has this one taken away. Addy pushes it up ahead. Mosley, he's going to go across the lane and lays this one in for two. Turnover turns into a run out. One fifteen left to go here in the opening quarter. Lima Senior stretched their lead to seven as they're on top, 21-14. Shot's no good. Mosley comes up with the rebound. Here comes Lima Senior. Addy gets into the body of Lynch. He gets it to go down, and Amari Addy's going to go to the free throw line for the and one opportunity. Here's that really talented freshman we talked about for Lima Senior. Amari Addy listed at 5'11. Takes the contact, plays through it. Good body control, knew that contact yes, was coming and able to finish. Talked about the freshmen and what they can do. Amari Addy now with six points here in the quarter with a chance to go for seven. Back at Berkey, he already has ten points here in the quarter as they both right now are leading their teams here in the opening. Addy's free throw is good. JV on Walton will take his place. Both teams played last night. Lima well, Senior went to Clay last night. Shawnee had matched up with St. Mary's. Three-point shot on its way, and this one is good. Excuse me, as number 22, Nick Pazan had checked into the game, and he's able to connect on his first shot. Here comes Shawnee quickly. Brady Gabes has that one knocked out of bounds, but it'll stay with the Indians. 35.1 seconds left to go. Shawnee will inbound from underneath their own basket. Wilson trying to find somebody to pass it to. Has to go quick to avoid the five second. And has this one knocked out of bounds by Walton. One more time, the Indians are going to try to inbound. Tries to get it down low to Berkey. Berkey somehow got that basketball and not only kept it, got it up and in. Also got fouled for his trouble and will make a trip to the free throw line. At 12 points already. Is that play again. Right up through contact. Berkey connects on the free throw. We are back to a four-point deficit. Coach's son, think he's been shooting free throws his whole life? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do at practice today while Dad was working? Shot free throws. Here's Hutchin up top, guarded by Freiberger. Glenn kicks it down to the corner. Kel Cotton's three, no good, off the mark. Fight for the loose ball, ends up into the hands of the Indians. Eight seconds left to go. Freiberger passes it ahead to Berkey. Berkey splits the defenders off the glass and lays it in for two. And that is going to bring the first quarter to a close. Thanks to a huge quarter by Beckett Berkey. Shawnee only down two points. But heading into the second, Lima Senior still on top, 24-22. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School. Tonight's instant replay is sponsored by Union Bank. Union Bank, committed to you. Nate Garlock alongside Mark Shine in the first quarter has passed us by, but it had been an offensive <laughs> display for like, both teams throughout that entire quarter. From inside the arc, Shawnee is 6 of 10. Lima Senior, 10 of 12 from inside the arc. 
Shawnee is two for two from the three-point line. Lima Senior one for four. Shawnee's made all four free throws. Lima Senior's made half. They've made one of two. Only five rebounds for Shawnee, six for Lima Senior. And not neither team has turned the ball over. Just two for Lima Senior, three for Shawnee. The highly unofficial stats as I get caught up watching the game. <laughs> So far, we're on pace to see yeah. a special game out of the out of the freshman Becky Berkey. Lima Senior's got to come up with an answer. If they can shut him down right now, nobody else from Shawnee's really had to do much as he's handled all the heavy lifting. 15 points in the opening quarter, and looking lot, to add a to A lot it. more points on the board for both teams than I expected at this point. The pace of the game was much quicker. The shooting's been outstanding. Breiberger, fake pass down into the corner, decided to keep it himself. Going to get fouled and take a trip to the free throw line. He is it. 80% free throw shooter on the season. And Nate, while we have a moment, I want to thank both coaches. Coach, Bur uh, Coach Triplett played last night, played St. Mary's at 11 o'clock last night. He had a stat page for the season total and in the email to me. And Chris Jackson sends his to me every single game for Lima Senior. And I appreciate both coaches and all of our coaches who get stats to us so we can use them on the air. So Freiberger not able to connect on the first one, makes the adjustment. Second one is good. One point game, Lima Senior on top, 24-23. Here's Wilson working against Miller. Nice crossover as Wilson's able to get to the basket for two. Another straight line dribble to the goal. It was Isaiah Wilson's first basket of the night as Miller tries to go baseline, gets cut off, went right into the teeth of some defense, lost the basketball, but McBride takes it right away from Mosley who ended up on the ground. He's on with the floater. That one's no good. And Jaquel Cotton tracks it down. Freiberger just rips it away, drops it off to Miller. Miller hangs, can't get that one to go. And Isaiah Wilson comes up the rebound, but he's immediately met by three different Indians. And we're going to have a foul. We'll see who they charge this one to. As that is going to go on number five. Toby Freiberger, and I believe he just yeah. picked up a second one in the form of a technical. Well, somebody did for Shawnee, certainly. Let's see who the call goes against. Now it looks like they might be talking to Nick. As Nick Pazon might have been the one that picked that one up. So either way, a technical yeah. was assessed as Jaquel Cotton's going to make a trip to the free throw line. <laughs> They did not put the foul on the board, but my, my suspicion is you are correct. They did put it up for Pashone. So he must have said something the official did not like. You know, this is one of those games where that can kind of get the better of you. It's, it, it's a heated rivalry. You know, a little bit extra goes into these games. You get that adrenaline going. You say some things that you, that you don't, and the officials, they're going to call it tight. They want to keep the game under control. Pashon, Pashon, he has to take a trip to the bench as we see Dominic Lynch come back into the game. I think that's a good move by Coach Berkey and Coach Triplett to get him out. See Coach Berkey talking to him on the sideline there about controlling emotions. Isaiah Wilson now working against Austin Miller. Was trying to get it down low to Mosley. Wasn't there. Cotton, he's going to let the three-pointer go. Almost got his own rebound. Ended up in the hands of Hutchins. He lost it off of his foot. Freiberger takes it himself all the way in for two. Toby Freiberger with another two-point basket. Gets us back to a one-possession game. And just like that, Isaiah Wilson with the answer. And the fast pace that we saw in the first quarter continues here into the second. Austin Miller makes his first two and stolen immediately by McBride. McBride can't get it to go. Miller comes down to help him, and we're going to have a tie-up. And the possession arrow is going to favor the Spartans. Jagger Hutchins was able to bother the shot after the steal enough that it was not able to score. So Mc, 
McBride with the heads up defensive play, but Shawnee not able to do anything with it. Basketball ends up going back to Lima Senior as Isaiah Wilson brings it up into the front court. Lima Senior works it around the perimeter, trying to find something to shake loose. Moore, he's going to drive. Nice drop off to Mosley. Mosley finishes for two more. How many passes has he thrown here early on that have been successful like that one? McBride's going to try to drive. Head fake, gets it up and in. Will McBride with a nice move on the inside to get two points. This time it was Shawnee able to get the ball and take it right to the goal. Here's another one. Isaiah Wilson getting to the basket one more time. As right now, neither defense really put much uh, resistance on the other offense. Lima Sr. is 14 of 16 from two-point range, and a lot of them are layups like that one right there. Almost another takeaway. Beckett Berkey not able to track it down. Lima Sr. does get the turnover, but they give it right back. And then one more time returns it. Marion Glenn, he can't finish the layup. Gets it back. This time it does go down. So back and forth, the basketball goes. And Lima Senior right now on top six. We're going to have a foul. This one's going to go on Amarion Glenn, his second. That is the team's seventh. So Freiburger's going to go to the free throw line to shoot the one and one. Yeah, this is kind of an important thing here for Shawnee. They will be shooting one and ones for the last 435 of the half. They've been a good free throw shooting team all season long. And they will. If they were able to do that here, they shoot 75% from the free throw line on the season. And that would really help them to make some, some free throws here in this last part of the quarter. As Freiburger's first free throw goes down. You know, Mark, you were mentioning, you know, prior to that last possession and a few more missed shots now on the, on the ledger for Lima Senior. But if you were told Coach Simpson, halfway through the second quarter, you're only going to have missed two shots, yeah. you, he would have thought that this lead would have been way more than at the time four points as Shawnee though is doing a nice job of making sure that they can stay in this basketball game not being hesitant to get down quickly and score on their own and now seven of eight for the free throw line that helps as well I'm a seniors two for four I, I just think Shawnee always has a lot of grit to themselves they just compete on every single possession and it gets a reflection on their coaching staff and the young men who play for them you mentioned they played St. Mary's last night. It's always a difficult game against the size, but St. Mary's got it done in a different way. As Gabe's not able to connect on that layup. Moore comes up with the rebound. And, it, you know, the, so when you look at that score, it was pretty lopsided, but, you know, St. Mary's did it from behind the arc when you're used to seeing them use that size down low. So that one, not really, you know, indicative of, you know, a typical Shawnee game is they have played some really hard-fought games as we continue just to go back and forth. And right now, both teams missing some easy layups. Three-point shot on its way, and that one's good. Isaiah Wilson was getting tired of bouncing it off the side of the rim, so it stepped out a little bit and connected on the big three-pointer. Makes Lima Senior two for seven from the arc. That's a nice pass, and Miller's going to score inside and get to go to the line. Great move by Austin Miller on the inside. Good footwork. Got himself up high, knew that contact was coming, able to finish. And now he gets an opportunity to take the free throw as well. Take a look at the Union Bank replay. Working down low against Javion Walton as he's going to get whistled for that foul. Senior Austin Miller steps to the free throw line, lets it go, and it's good. You make a three-point field goal from the right corner, and we get a three-point field goal inside, counting the free throw. Haven't seen a lot of contested shots. Brandon Moore took one there. No good. Keegan Wilson runs the floor and finishes for two. One thing I always like about Shawnee, a lot of teams when they play Lima Senior, they don't want to get in a running game with them. They would prefer to make it a half-court situation, but not Shawnee. We're going to play our basketball game, and we're going to go up and down the floor with you, and they're down just two here. You know, I think that's, you know, you're seeing the familiarity between the two programs. Coach Triplett very familiar with how Coach Simpson plays, and likewise Coach Simpson and Coach Triplett. And right now they're just going at each other. Beckett Berkey came up with the rebound, but Amari Addy stuck his hand in there to pick the foul up. That is going to be his second. And 
you know, I've, I've had the luxury of seeing quite a few Lima senior games, especially here recently. And, you know, Amari Addy is going to be a special player. When he's out there, he doesn't look like a freshman most of the time. That is absolutely right. He is very poised for a young man, and, and he's obviously been coached well all through his career, but he has tools, and he has a good IQ for the game, and he is going to be something special. But. But. <laughs> but. At times, freshmen will be freshmen. Uh, yes, they and do. I think that's what we just saw right there. You know, Marietta, the, the Lima Senior plays this aggressive defense. Coach Simpson wants them to get after it. And so he's trying to do what that defense is. And that time, coming from behind to poke it away, just a little bit of a, of a mental lapse on that foul right there, knowing that he may p pick up that second one. He has the speed. He could have gotten in front of you know, you know, Beckett. And that will be one of those things as he goes and he continues to grow in his game, he'll learn that that's not the move to make. He can get that basketball a different way. That Coach Simpson took him out, and as soon as he did, they sat him down beside the assistant coaches, both of them talking to him about the mistake. So coaching going on on the sidelines right there. Shawnee now 10 of 11 from the free throw line. Hanging in there. So Beckett. First points here of the second quarter after the 15-point first quarter. Shawnee now has tied this game up at 38. Two thirty-nine left to go. Isaiah Wilson with the drive. He gets this one off the glass. Wilson having a huge second quarter. As that is now 11 points here in the second for him. Each team's had a guy get really hot in a quarter. Berkey has to drop it off to Miller. Wilson trying to set the screen, but not able to do it. Ends up finding Gabes down low on the reverse layup. He gets that one to go for two. A nice pass. Austin Miller stepped through the double team and found his teammate cutting to the goal. Both teams just doing a great job here in the early going of playing with their heads up. Hutchins from the corner, that one's good for three. Nate, that's just what we talked about in the pregame. You give up a lot of straight line dribbles. That time it was going to the basket, but then you get the kick out for the three ball and then a turnover. Wilson loses it, and then he's going to pick up the foul as he pushed Zion Jackson as Jackson hit the ground. Just a sixth team foul. So Shawnee still with a foul to give here in this half. We are under two left to go with Lima Senior on top, 43 to 40. Both teams have gone to their bench liberally this evening and got contributions. Here's Wilson. He's having the big corner, looking to stay hot. Kicks it to Cotton. Cotton had a couple defenders flying at him, decides to pull it down. Now it's Wilson one more time. He's going to step back, let the offense reset. Got a bit of a mismatch quickness-wise. And now they Wide open back. shot. Yep. That one's no good. Jackson got up high, tried to get the rebound. McBride came in to try to take it. We'll see who they're going to call this on. There's a lot of contact on that one. As it looks like that foul is going to go on number 10, Zion Jackson. is. He grabbed the hold of McBride's jersey. The sixth offensive rebound for Lima Senior. And this no, that's right. they actually got Will McBride on that one. As McBride did come in, it looked like there was contact right around the head to Zion Jackson. The whistle just came in a little late. As Jackson now will go to the free throw line to shoot the one and one. As well as Lima Senior shooting the basketball today, giving them extra opportunities with offensive rebounds is something that coach will talk about at halftime. Jackson not able to connect on the free throw. Freiberger brings it up for Shawnee. Lynch going to drive baseline. Drops it down to McBride. McBride with the hesitation got both defenders to leave their feet. He's going to make a trip to the free throw line himself. That's a senior move right there. Get the head and shoulder fake, and you get two defenders up in the air. And as they're coming down, you put your shoulder into them and draw contact. Nice pass across the court, too. And there you go. Great look at it on our Union Bank replay. Now McBride can't get that one to go. As he misses the first Lee's Famous Recipe chicken free throw. Surprise, he shoots 69 free throws on the season. So not a surprise when he gets to the line. Second shot is up and good. Also, he shoots 80%, so a lot of the points he gets at the free throw line makes us one of two there. 
We've had about 35 seconds of gameplay lapse between scores. It kind of seems like it's been forever yeah. since we saw Bats get go on based on the pace we were seeing earlier. I, I really missed my guess on this one. I thought both teams were really get, get after it defensively, and in some cases they have, but the offenses have been outstanding. Hutchin almost lost a dribble, had to pick it up, able to get it off to Wilson. As Isaiah Wilson now listening to directions come from the bench, letting the offense get set up. Pass it off to Jackson. Lima Senior likes to do that weave up top, work it back around the perimeter as they missed it wide open underneath. Zion Jackson was fortunate for Shawnee. They didn't get that pass inside. Yeah, I think Coach was saying we're going to take last shot of the quarter, and somebody flashed open inside. They could have gone so, but chose to you know, do what Coach said. Let's play last shot. Isaiah Wilson has had the hot hand here in the quarter. Let's see if Coach Simpson wants him to take this shot. Wilson hands off to Hutchins as he's going to pull the trigger on the play. Hutchins up top, drops it off to Cotton. Cotton gets it over to Jackson. He's going to drive. Jackson swings it down into the corner. Hutchins for three. That one's no good. And the last second heave is just off as the first half comes to a close. Fast-paced, high-scoring action here at Lima Senior as the Spartans go to the locker room with a two-point lead. They're on top, 43-41. We'll step aside and be back with the second half on WOSN. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School. Tonight's halftime adjustment is brought to you by Laux Chiropractic and Weight Loss. Laux Chiropractic and Weight Loss offers area residents good health through chiropractic care. Nate Garlock alongside Mark Shine. And Mark, it was an excellent huh. first half. I don't know that either one of us could have predicted that it played out the way that it did, but what do these teams got to do here in the second half to make well, some adjustments? Let's look at some stat numbers because I think that tells us what both teams are going to be looking to, to accomplish in the second half. Both teams shot 61% from the floor. Shawnee was 12 of 21 from the inside the arc for two-point range, and they were two for two from the three-point line. Lima Senior, 16 of 20 from inside the arc and three of 11 from outside. You put all that together, they both shot 61%. And I'm thinking both coaches are going to talk about defense. We have got to find a way to, to limit the uh, scoring opportunities and easy shots for the opponent. I think one thing Lima Senior needs to look at, too, is Shawnee is 11 of 13 from the free throw line. Got to play this defense without fouling, without putting them into the free throw line. Lima Senior won the rebound battle, partly because they had six offensive rebounds. And I'm sure Coach Triplett's talking about that at halftime as well. we got to keep those guys off the glass, as well as stopping straight line dribbles to the goal. The turnovers are fairly even. Lima Senior has seven. Shawnee has six. That hasn't played a huge factor in the game, but obviously both teams would like to limit that as well. You take a look at how the quarters broke down. A 19-19 quarter there in the second as Lima Senior did a nice job adjusting to Beckett Berkey who went off for 15 in the first quarter. Only two uh, points there in the second. Both of those came from the free throw line as Shawnee continued to shoot tremendously from the line. Uh, unofficially, I only have them down for two misses uh, in yep. that entire first half. Lima Senior got into a little bit of foul trouble, ended up with 10 team fouls there in the first half. That's one of the things they live with, though, with they can go so deep on their bench, they're okay with the fouls. But if Shawnee's going to continue to shoot like this, that could be a problem. Yeah, I think uh, you know Coach Simpson has always been okay with individual fouls if you're playing aggressive defensively. Now, obviously, he doesn't want silly fouls or, or things that you know that occur outside of the form, form of normality. But he wants his team to be aggressive. He's deep. If they get 10 team fouls, so be it. But I think, obviously, we'd like to keep him off the free throw line. Oh, starters are coming back onto the floor for both teams. For Shawnee, that's McBride, Lynch, Freiberger, Miller, and Berkey. For Lima Senior, Mosley, Moore, Cotton, Addy, and Hutchins. Yeah, it will be interesting to see if both teams can keep this pace up offensively. Lima Senior is going to start zone. Lima Senior starts with the lead, 43-41, as Shawnee has uh, the basketball, and immediately you saw the trap come to Berkey. Almost turned it over, is able to get rid of it. Long pass over to Miller. Miller's going to let the three-point shot go, and it connects. Austin Miller with the first three-point basket of the game for him. I thought Lima Senior handled that just exactly right. We're going to get a foul, and I hope not an injury, because Lima Senior didn't just play some passive zone. They came out and attacked right away, but the freshman made a good pass and then the three-point field goal. So Brandon Moore is going to go to the free-throw line. He got fouled. On the inside by Miller, who came to close out, and he got really high up there when you see Moore with the head fake. 
And I was afraid that was an injury situation. When you go tumbling over someone like that, good to see Austin Miller bounce back up. Austin Miller's been battling a foot injury for uh, most of the season as well, so a little extra uh, breath held that time, but he bounced up and he seems to be okay. More able to connect on the second as we are back to being all tied up as this game is just back and forth. Miller, another three-point shot, this one off the front of the rim. Long rebound, outlet to Moore. Moore gets chased down behind by Austin Miller, and he's going to pick up another foul. Three-point field goals that are missed typically rebound long and set up situations just like that. Good run out. He had guarded Miller, and then he had you know, did the run out situation. Good long court, court pass, and to the free throw line we go. Austin Miller with his third foul. You know, you know that he wants to prevent the uh, basket on that easy layup look by Moore. But with three fouls, he's going to have to take a seat. And he got two of them in about 37 seconds. Moore make his first free throw. Second one is no good. They're just four of nine from the free throw line this evening. One of the reasons this game is so close yet. Freiberger brings it up for Shoney, guarded by Addy. Has to get rid of it to Berkey. Berkey's let three-point shot go. That one's no good. Lynch with the rebound, kicks it back out to Freiberger. His three-point try is no good as Addy comes up with the rebound. First minute gone here in the third quarter. Hutchins looked like he thought about a three-pointer there for a second, but decides to kick it back out as Addy directs some traffic. Hutchins catch and shoot. That one's off the side of the rim, going to go out of bounds, and it'll go back to the Indians. Each team's last possession, the three was taken a little quick. Berkey at one end, Hutchins at the other. A little surprised to see him come out and start shooting from the three-point line when both teams had such success driving to the basket and getting their points right at the rim. Here in this third, though, they want to try to expand that defense a little bit. Good defense by Hutchins to stop the dribble drive penetration. Freiberger goes back to the lane. That one's no good. Lynch with the rebound. Has to just let it go as he was falling down. If he held on to it, would have been a turnover anyway and ends up back in the hands of the Spartans. But the only difference there would have been they would have gotten that ball underneath Shawnee's basket, and now they get it underneath their own. Catch and shoot by Hutchins one more time, and that one's good as Jagger Hutchins with his third three-pointer of the game. Much better that time. His feet were set. He got an inbounds pass with – Defense kind of lackadaisical, getting to him, and then it should turn over to the other end. Will McBride just picked up his dribble a little bit far from the basket that time, and as he tried to get around the defender, realized, oop, I'm going to take a couple more steps, was hoping not to get caught. The official right there for the call. Eighth turnover for Lima, for Shawnee, seven for Lima Sr. Oh, slip screen. Wow. Great job, give to in the inside to Mosley. As you could tell, Moore just kind of lulled the defense to sleep right there, and Mosley with the quick move to the basket. That was a really well-executed play from the, the screen, and he slipped it, then the pass inside was on time. That was really well done. So out to a six-point lead as Spartans are on top, 50-44. to 44. And With Austin Miller on the bench, this is kind of a critical time right here for Shawnee to find points from someone. Lynch tried to drive, got cut off by Cotton, has to get rid of it, and ends up in the hands of Berkey. Berkey's going to drive. He gets it up. We're going to have a foul on the floor first as this one's going to go against Hutchins. That is Hutchins second, and that is the third team foul already here in the second half for Lima Senior. There they go. Got an out-of-bounds play to score. Dominic Lynch picks up his first two of the night as Shawnee gets it back within four. Addy tries to drive. He's going to get tripped up. He's just so quick he got by Pashon. Shawnee with three team fouls here in three minutes. So Pashon's going to go to the bench after he had just checked in for Miller. As we see Gabe's come back into the game. Isaiah Wilson's checking into the game. He had the monster second quarter for Lima Senior. Senior now sets their inbounds play. Gets it over to Mosley. Mosley's going to drive, works against Gabe, tries to spin. Freiberger was there to cut him off. Cotton with the three-point try. 
Gets his own rebound as Lynch had vacated that space. So Lima Sr. now is going to be able to reset, get the offense going one more time. Yeah, he ran by to try to bother the shot, but in the process missed his checkout assignment. Rebound came right back to Hutch, so right back to uh, the, sh the shooter, Cotton. Here's Cotton, feeds inside to Mosley. Mosley kicks it out. Moore for three. That one's no good. Hutchins there for the rebound. We're going to have a tie-up as Berkey and Hutchins fight for it. Possession arrow favors the Spartans. Well, you can hear Coach Triplett. We're on the opposite side of the floor at the top of the gym, getting after his guys about defensive rebound position. Eight offensive rebounds for the Spartans so far. Here's Wilson, works against McBride, kicks it back out to Hutchins. Hutchins, another three-pointer. That one's no good. And Cotton tried to come out as Gabe held that basketball out really far. Cotton thought he was going to be able to come around the corner and pick his pocket, but got too much of the arm. But that was a good checkout. Three guys got good position inside that time defensively, and they secured the rebound and then the foul. You mentioned Coach Triplett, and you can hear him as – He's been upset, especially on the defensive effort of Jagger Hutchins, as Hutchins has been able to get some pretty good looks at three point at the three-point line and has made uh, a couple here tonight, but he's not happy with guys giving him that much space. McBride. Not oh. sure what he was looking to do at that one as he was trying to clear some space, but just kept kind of working a way around and didn't really have much of a choice but to pick his feet up. Chris Triplett got Austin Miller back in the game with his three fouls. Miller's going to have to play smart. smart. If I was the Spartans, I'd go right inside to Mosley, try to see if they can't get Miller to pick up his fourth. Here's Mosley. In entry pass to Moore gets picked off. Miller leads the offense up. Gabes, he's going to drive. Gabes with the left hand. That one goes. Penetration dribble. There's another one. They'll draw contact. It's Austin Miller. It's four. And that's exactly what Lima Sr. did on that possession as Moore went right into Austin Miller. And Miller trying to get the block, as you can see on the Union Bank replay, got right into the hands. The official right there calls him for his fourth foul. He was in pretty good position. Had he kept his hands straight up, he'd have been okay. But he came down with his hands, and there was the foul. Good call. Moore's first free throw is good. This is his third trip to the line here in the third quarter. I'm a senior now, five of ten from the free throw line. And they just keep bringing fresh bodies off the bench. More one more time. 52 48, four point lead, 340 left to go here in the third. Keegan Wilson back into the game, brings it up, drops it off to Freiberger. Berkey trying to get going, has that one taken away by Mosley. He's going to get whistled for the foul. It's a bit of a late call, but it was the correct call. Got hit across the arm as he was going up to shoot. And it came from the official on the opposite side of the floor, so it took him a second to get in there to get the play stopped as Berkey's going to go to the free throw line. Well, every official has what are called primary areas and secondary areas, and that was not his primary area, but he didn't make the correct call. Murphy's shot is up off the front of the rim and no good. Becky Berkey was on a torrid pace there in the mm. first quarter, but has struggled to get going since. Second free throw is good. Almost and taken up. away, and as Cotton picked that one back up, his heels were still out of bounds. So. Shawnee is going to get the ball right back underneath their basket, down three. Each team's turned it over nine times in the game now. Inbound play comes down to Berkey. A nice defense by Cotton that time to jump out on the perimeter and deny the reversal pass. Good spin by Freiberger in the lane. Can't get it to go down, though. Mosley got his hand on it. Couldn't get up with the rebound, but ended up in the freshman's hands. Addy kicks it down. One more pass to Moore, and he's going to pull it back out. Brandon Moore coming off a 19-point game last night. Mosley did a nice job not losing the basketball that time, but saw Wilson have that one poked away by Freiberger. Natty comes down and takes it right away from him, ends up out of bounds off the hands of Toby Freiberger. So the Spartans fortunate to get this basketball back. Nice job by Amari Addy to get back and disrupt Freiberger from going to the goal. Out 
two. After such a well played opening half. This has been a little bit uh, not as smoothly played, let's put it that way. They're still trying to play up tempo, but not nearly as many shots going down. We've seen a lot more three point attempts here. That one's no good. Will McBride's going to drive. He goes up with the right hand and gets it to go. Will McBride has five now, averaging 13.6 per game. A lot of the scoring may fall to him now with Austin Miller on the bench. Freiberger just reached in and with his, he's got big hands, reached huh. in there, is able to grab that basketball, kind of stopped Addy right in his tracks. Possession arrow favored Shawnee, so they're going to get this basketball back, trailing by one. Yeah, the held ball arrow favored the Indians, hence they get the basketball. And the 11th turnover on Lyme, a senior. That just took a lot of strength by Freiberger, too. I mean, he just yeah. reached in and pretty much stopped Addy from being able to go anywhere. The official in good position that time was able to see it. But an immediate turnover by Shawnee on the other end gives the ball back to Lima Senior. Another turnover for them as well as they tried to get Beckett Berkey on the back cut, which went pass was too tall for him. Isaiah Wilson brings it up, working against McBride. He's going to go with, around to the right side, kicks it over to Moore. Moore's going to drive. Moore's been active tonight. Gets that one to go as well. First points of the quarter from the floor for Moore. He's done all of his damage from the free throw line. Berkey's three-point try up and no good. Gabe's there for the rebound. Gabe's with the left hand. Leaves that one short. Mosley comes up with it. Tried to go for a tie-up, and this one's going to be a foul call. And we'll see who they get. Looks like they're going to call... It is going to go against Brady Gabes. That's his first. Shown checks back in. That is the fifth team foul for Shawnee. Only three team fouls for Lima Senior. Here's Wilson. Hands it off to Moore. Good ball movement by Lima Senior all night long. They're doing a nice job of getting the passes around and Moore gets some space, but he is way off on that shot as Berkey was trying to do a nice box out that time. And as Mosley was trying to go around him, grabbed his arm, and the official come down to call that foul. So Mosley going to get whistled for another foul. That is his third. And that becomes a situation for Coach Simpson to deal with. And as you say that, Jagger Hutchin gets up and he goes to the scorer's table. And imagine he's going to come in for Anthony Mosley during the next stoppage. Well, they sat on that play right there and took away the reversal pass. Disruption of the offense. Lynch around midcourt yelling out instructions, trying to get the offense into the, into the play. Mosley does a nice job getting his foot on that one, knocked that one out of bounds. So Shawnee's going to have to reset. Defensive possession, so they're going to take Anthony Mosley out of the basketball game. Under a minute left to go here in the third. Lima Senior still on top, 54-51. Wilson looks to get rid of it, gets it out to Berkey. Here's Wilson, gets to the free throw line, has to pull it back out, needs to go somewhere with the basketball, ends up getting it back over to Lynch. Lynch being guarded by Hutchins as he's going to pull it back out with 35 seconds left to go. And we'll see if Shawnee now wants to try to take the last shot here of the quarter. And you can hear Coach Triplett from the bench now yelling, one shot, one shot. So 20 seconds left to go as Shawnee's going to look to try to get this last shot of the quarter. Wilson finds a cutting Gabe. Nope, nope, nope. They're going to say no as Triplett called a timeout prior. And even though Coach Triplett is not happy about it, if he called timeout before the shot started to go, the official was granting him. So we're going to step aside. When we come back, we'll have the last 14 seconds of the third quarter. Lima Senior on top, 54-51. You're watching Boys High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's premier sponsor is Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Final 10 seconds left to go as Shawnee was granted a Metzger Financial Services timeout. A little bit of a hard luck timeout that time as 
Gabes had just cut himself free and was going to make an easy layup. Mm -hmm. And then coming out of it, now Shawnee with the turnover. So with 1.1 seconds left to go, Lima Senior will have an opportunity to get a shot off. Let's see what they can come up with. Called a timeout and then didn't get a shot thanks to good defensive pressure. Glenn sends a three-quarter shot on its way and no good. After three quarters, Lima Senior still on top, but it's a tight one. They have the lead, 54-51. We'll step aside and be back with the fourth on WOSA. Welcome back tonight. Scoreboard sponsors Layfield Industrial Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. I'd also like to thank tonight's instant replay sponsor, Union Bank. Union Bank is committed to you. And then Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken is tonight's free throw sponsor. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Shooting cooled off a little bit in quarter three. Shawnee 15 of 27. Lima Senior 18 of 26 from two. Three-point line, Shawnee three of seven. Lima Senior four of 18. 12 of 15 from the free throw line for Shawnee Indian. Six of 11 for Lima Senior. Two more rebounds for Lima Senior, 19 to 17. They have eight offensive rebounds to five for Shawnee. 12 turnover Shawnee, 11 Lima Senior. Quarter scores for each team. Shawnee with 10, Lima Senior with 11. It has stayed tight throughout this entire game. Largest lead for either club has only been six points. And of course, Coach Triplett has to make a plan now when he wants to get Austin Miller back in the game. And well, I'm a senior, choose to be very patient with this possession. Addy with the handoff. Here's Hutchins, gives it back to Moore. I'm a senior, has been able to swing some guys free off of this set. As Wilson dives into the lane, kicks it back out to Moore. Spin move into the lane, up with the right hand. Oh, this one rattles in. That was pretty. Of course, Coach Simpson has to decide what to do with Anthony Mosley. He only has three fouls and not the four that Austin Miller had, but when he wants to bring him back in the game as well. Ride gets it back to Freiberger. Freiberger dumps it off to Berkey. Berkey almost lost it. Somehow was able yeah. to get that one off his fingertips and gets it to go for two. Becca Berkey was thinking offensive rebound, and Toby Freiberger was thinking assist, and they were fortunate to connect on that. Becca Berkey now with 20 points on the Knight leading, leading all scores. Shawnee stays within striking distance. They're just down three. Freiberger trying to challenge Wilson. Takes it away. Here's Gabe. Works against Hutchins. Spins off the glass with the wow. right hand and in. Nice move by yes. Brady Gabes. That was a pretty move as well. All started with Toby Freiberger not letting Wilson be comfortable out there in the corner. Really challenged him, able to come up with that turnover. Brady Gabes knew what to do with it once he got it down low in the paint. We're going to have another timeout. This one's going to be on Lima Senior. We're going to step aside, and we'll be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's premier sponsor is Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Coach Simpson wanted to take a Metzger Financial Services timeout to talk to his team as they hold the one-point lead here in the fourth. As neither one of these teams really can establish much of a lead. Every time it seems like Lima Sr. is going to go on a little bit of run and expand this lead and maybe kind of run away and hide, Shawnee has had an answer, then they continue to keep it close. It's kind of the Shawnee MO when you think of Coach Triplett's teams. They just play every single possession, and they in the 32 minutes, they look and see where they're at, and they're just able to hang into the game because of that. Six minutes left to go. Lima Senior with the basketball. Curious what the timeout situation is going to be because I'm pretty sure Coach Simpson put a play together. He did bring Anthony Mosley back in at the timeout. Austin Miller also back in the game, guarding Jagger Hutchins down low. He has the four fouls. Jagger setting the screen. Mosley up top, gets it over to Addy, who's being guarded by Lynch. Down low. I'm sorry, he was guarded by McBride. It was Lynch guarding Moores as he cut down in the inside. Lynch did a nice job getting his hand on the basketball to knock that one out. And as Moore tried to save it, couldn't grab it, and it goes back to the Indians. They had that set up, but the defense was pretty good and knocked it away. Shawnee with a chance to take the lead. Three-pointer on its way. Gabes can't connect. 
Mosley comes up with the rebound. Here's Moore. He has numbers. He's going to take it himself. Decides to drop it off to Glenn. That was a good decision as Glenn gets a two-pointer. Certainly was out in transition. 58-55, another three-pointer. Almost from the exact same yeah. spot. And Brady Gabes made the adjustment. Gets this one to go down. Shawnee had missed their last five three-point field goal efforts and then buried that one and knotted at 58. We are all tied up. 4.45 left to go as Moore works against Lynch. I'm a senior being patient on their offensive sets here in the fourth, at least here in the early going. Mostly set a down screen and wanted to get the ball. Or from the corner, no good. Fight for the rebound. Glenn took it away from two Indians, and Amarion Glenn gets it up for two more. Tremendous play by him. Offensive rebound baskets, pure strength that time. Here's Freiberger. Has it poked away, but we're going to have a whistle. As Marion Glenn is going to get whistled for the foul, that is his third, team's fifth. So right now, both teams still with a couple of fouls to give before anybody's shooting any free throws. As Gabe is going to take it out for the Indians. Austin Miller now being matched up with Brandon Moore. See who he plays on the defensive end. Berkey, he's going to drive. Can't get that one to go. Rebound to the Spartans. Glenn, nice head fake, goes right in. Going to have a blocking foul. See if it counts or was before. And you can see Gabes is not happy yep. about it. But Gabes, when he looks back at the video of this, we'll see as you check it out on the Union Bank replay. Yeah. He wasn't really set, kind of had his body turned to the side a little bit. It was a good call by the official. I would agree, good call, and also before the shot attempt occurred too. So what do we got? Scores table needed who the foul was on. Sixth team foul, though, on Shawnee. So the scoreboard shows that they charged Beckett Berkey with that foul, but it was definitely Brady Gabes. Hutchins, three-point try. This one's good. Jagger Hutchins with a big three-pointer. He has one in each quarter. And with 3.30 left to go, it puts his team up five. There's that offensive rebound again in the Coach Triplett timeout. So Shawnee comes down, has a big answer, able to get two points up to make this a one-possession game. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's Instant Replay is sponsored by Union Bank. Union Bank committed to you. 63-60, and we are coming down to it here in the fourth quarter. And both teams just continue to go blow for blow. And right now, Shawnee hasn't had the lead, but they are staying close. And it, it feels like if Lima Senior can't put them away soon, Shawnee's going to find a way to get over that hump. Well, I think one thing that Coach Simpson is going to be really happy about when this game is over is they have 10 offensive rebounds tonight. The last two of them have resulted in five points. So the really key situations for them, they've been able to pick up offensive rebounds, and it's their basketball out of bounds with a three-point lead. 3.35 left to go as the Lima Senior looks to expand their lead. Addy works against Wilson, looking for someone to come free. It's Hutchins. Hutchins from the top. Can't get that one to go, but Glenn flies one. through to get the rebound. Had it poked away, able to gather it back in. Addy's going to pull it back, going to reset, let things slow down. So Hutchins had a good look at it, left it a little bit short, but Marion Gunn comes flying into the lane, able to get his hands on it he and might preserve only, the possession. He might only have four points, but he has been huge on the offensive glass today. Actually, he's got eight points, doesn't he? My bad. He's yeah, been he, huge on the offensive glass anyway. Yeah, he, he has four in the quarter. And yeah. Four there in the first half as Glenn drops it off to Moore. Moore works against Freiberger. Freiberger able to poke around, take that one away. Great play by Toby Freiberger to get his hand on that basketball without picking up the foul. Here's Miller. Thought about the three, decides to go baseline off the glass and in. Good senior play that time. Rather than risk a three ball, take it to the rim and score. 
Austin Miller now with 12 points on the night. Shawnee back within one. Addy hanging out right around the logo. Finally gets it over to Glenn and gets it to Hutchins. Moore down low. Mosley trying to work against Berkey, but Wilson comes around. Tried to poke that one away. Gets called for the foul, and now we have a one and one situation with Anthony Mosley heading to the free throw line. Yeah, Lima Sr., 6 of 11 from the free throw line. This is going to be a key one of one situation right here for them. Coach Simpson made a couple of subs and they immediately get together. I wonder if they're going to change some things defensively right here. Mosley goes to the free throw line looking to make the front end of this one and one. Shot is up. That one's no good. Miller comes up with the rebound. Well, you are correct. Here we are with Shawnee and a chance to take the lead. They stayed man to man, did Lima Sr. Shawnee has yet to be able to capitalize and they've yet to lead in this game outside of an early 3 0 lead and they turn it over. That was a really nice defensive job by Brandon Moore. Moore, he's going to drive. Freiberger reaches in, tries to take it away. And they're going to call. Officials are going to call a foul, and this one is going to go against Freiberger. Brandon Moore forced that turnover last time by how well he defended on the perimeter against Austin Miller. And now he gets to go to the free throw line. So Brandon Moore goes to the free throw line tonight. He is four of six from the line. Connects on his first. Love to see a senior step up. Average is 12 a game. He's got 13 tonight. Just made a big free throw. Moore lines up the second shot. It's on its way. This one's good as well. Back out to a three-point lead. Final minute 30 of the game. Freiberger works against Wilson. Has to get rid of it. Defense is getting played tight. Lynch was able to go free to get the basketball. Berkey comes out to get it to set the offense. Shawnee does not need a three, but they do need a score. Freiberger still had his dribble, but drops it off to McBride. Trying to go down low to Miller. Played good defense by Moore, though. Look at what he just did. He got him off the low box and then tipped the ball out of bounds. His last couple of defensive possessions, Brandon Moore has been very good. Not great body position by Austin Miller that time as he left his hips open. It was an easy poke away by Moore. We're going to have a timeout. This one's going to be on Lima Senior. They're going to want to get the defense set. They have the three-point lead. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 65-62, under a minute left to go here in the fourth quarter. Lima Sr. has hung on to this lead, but Shawnee doing everything they can to see if they can't get even and eventually come away with this victory. At 53 and a half seconds to go in the game, Shawnee needs a basket right here. If it's a three, fine, but they really just, if, if you shoot a three and don't score, Lima Senior gets possession. And now you got a foul, you could be down five. So they need something going to the goal. Yeah, a three if it presents itself, but something going to the goal would be really advantageous for Shawnee right here. See who they try to get it to. Freiberger takes the inbounds, gets it to Miller. Miller gets it over to Berkey, back to Freiberger. Trying to go down low, not there, McBride. Trying to create a little bit of space. Has to hand it back off to Freiberger. Freiberger drives, has it blocked, gets it back, though. Has this one taken away by Moore. Another Moore has numbers, play. works against McBride, drops it off to Glenn, oh. and he gets it in for two. What a play by Moore. The block, the rebound, and the pass for his teammate to score makes it a five-point game. shawnee has got to hurry if they want to give themselves an opportunity. Here's Miller. He misses the dunk. And Wilson gets the rebound, 12 seconds. Glenn with the layup, and that is all but going to do it here tonight. 
as Limus Sr. is going to hold on and come up with a hard-fought victory against the Shawnee Club that just did not want to go away and push this Spartans Club all the way to the end. I'm a senior, hard fought victory, 69-65. We're gonna step aside and we come back. We'll have tonight's Dolly Hustle Award winner on WOSN. Welcome back to Lima Senior Gymnasium. We're being joined by Coach Simpson. And Coach, congratulations, a big win tonight. How happy were you with the team's effort? Effort? Uh, I don't know how happy I was with that. I was definitely happy to get a win. Shawnee brung everything, including the kitchen sink in here to try to knock us off. They played a fantastic game. You got to tip your hat to how uh, Coach had his guys ready to go. Um, I thought our guys played tight. I thought we looked a little fatigued with having so many games in the last 10 days. But I thought the last minute and a half, we really sat down, guarded the ball, uh, got some key rebounds, played fast, executed well, and I thought that was the difference. So from that perspective, I am, I am excited. You, know, you mentioned the schedule. You guys have had a really rough go of it. Um, as far as games, not a lot of time off, not a lot of rest. You guys have had a lot of tough games. You know, last Friday night, a tough game against Finley that you guys lost. But since then, the teams looked a little bit different. You had a big win against Ottawa on Saturday. You know, over the last five games, they just looked like a, a little bit of a different team since that mm -hmm. victory. Well, you know, Finley helped us. Uh, that may sound odd, but losing to Finley made us all have talks with the mirror. Coaches on down to the players. And we had to figure out some things that we needed to do to help our team. One was laying off the full court pressure because we have so many games. Um, but losing to Finley made us all, you know, self-reflect, self-evaluate everyone. The guys came together. They told us they would buy in and whatever we wanted to do 100%. And then ever since then, we've done a tremendous job of that. So I tip my hat to my team as well. You know, you guys are known for the rotation that you play. You go very deep on the bench, but you are young. You have a lot of young players getting a lot of varsity minutes. When you go and you make a change, like moving to the half court and changing up what you typically do, how much are you leaning on your seniors like Mosley and um, Brandon Moore? Definitely a lot. Definitely for uh, Ant, because he's been around for three years. Uh, Brandon's been around. He hadn't, he hadn't had a whole lot of experience last season, but he's been a guy that's waited patiently. He never, never wanted to leave, never wanted to do anything differently waited his turn, played behind some phenomenal seniors that we had last year, and he's having a tremendous year. He's our leader. Um, he's done it on both ends. He brings it every day in practice. He's always the first one here, always wants to come in late, off days, and so I'm glad he's able to have the season that he's having. All right, Coach, we appreciate the time. Congratulations on the victory. You guys moved to five in a row now. It's been a great week, and hopefully we continue to see winning out of your as and program. Thank you. Appreciate you. That's going to bring us to our Stolly Hustle Award winner. You heard we talked about Brandon Moore, and after some conversations before we came back on air, he's our winner tonight. He really is. I thought his play throughout the game was very, very good, Nate, but then when he got down to where they really needed it, he got a couple of stops. He got to run out in transition after getting a rebound, got a pass through his teammate, and sealed the victory. That's what you want your seniors to do, and we're going to give the award to Stolly Award to him tonight. So make sure that you check out the highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page. Congratulations to Brandon Moore, a very well-deserved victory for him tonight. Lima Senior, they looked great. We talked about it with Coach. It's been a tough stretch here. They started with the loss with Finley last Friday night. They've had rivalry game after rivalry game. They had OG here at home. They had LCC the Lima Cup. Then they had another crosstown rival in Shawnee tonight but coaches found something and they just continue to win. Well, you know, I like coaches who don't say, we're just gonna play my way all the time. Cause I think coach really would like to get up and down the floor and get that full court pressure going. But with this team, he has found out a solid defensive effort in the half court starts everything else for him. He made that adjustment that you talked about with him and they have become a pretty good half court defensive team. Now it didn't always show tonight because of the grit and effort of Shawnee, but I think coach made a really wise choice. That is just going to about wrap it up for us here at Lima Senior. I'd like to thank our crew back in the truck, everyone behind the cameras and working back at the studio. We appreciate everything that you guys do for us. One final time from Lima Senior. The Spartans come away with a hard-fought victory of the Shawnee Indians. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great night, everybody.